Hey DCS fans, the highly anticipated 2.7 update recently dropped with a load of new content updating the core game, various modules, and campaigns. One of the most anticipated features of 2.7 is the addition of enhanced atmospheric conditions, or simply put, clouds. With the addition of 30 cloud presets, the immersion factor in DCS has just increased tenfold. Speaking of immersion, this video will cover my VR experience in 2.7 using the HP Reverb G2. If you are on the fence with purchasing a VR headset for DCS, perhaps this video will answer those questions and or concerns. Let's have a look. My initial impression of the new cloud system is that Eagle Dynamics has hit it out of the ballpark with this new feature. The seamless transitions from visual meteorological conditions to instrument meteorological conditions and vice versa in 2.7 are fantastic and true to life, and that is a huge understatement. DCS pilots can now experience the joys of cloud surfing. And going vertical. He's going vertical so much. We're going ballistic, man! Go get him! through multiple layers, giving us that sense of speed we dreamt about as kids. As a real-world pilot, I've spent a good portion of my career in the clouds, logging over 1,000 hours in IMC. So now in DCS 2.7, I get to relive those long duty days in the weather, as we would call it, which might bring back mixed emotions. In addition to the cloud upgrades, we also get new rain effects which look and sound just like the real deal. You may also experience icing conditions depending on the outside temperature, so keep an eye on your ice detection systems while flying through visible moisture. Improving the visuals and realism of the clouds will add challenges to your mission planning. During air-to-air -air engagements, enemy aircraft may dive in and out of the various cloud layers, forcing you to rely on your instrumentation and radar. During air-to-ground missions, your target area may be covered by a broken or overcast layer, forcing you to go with Plan B. All of this simply adds to the immersion of flying in DCS world. As far as initial VR performance in 2.7 goes with my HP Reverb G2, you've seen the FPS VR numbers by now. Frame rates and frame time will vary from map to map and aircraft selection. On my end, VR frame rate, at least on a discernible level, did not take a huge hit with the new cloud system. But I say this with caution as your mileage will vary among the various VR headsets, computer hardware configurations, and in-game VR settings. Obviously, being a new and complex feature in DCS, there will be some hiccups along the way, and those bugs will certainly be addressed as the community provides proper feedback. Be sure to check out the popular VR optimization guides in the video description below. Let us know what you think of the initial release of DCS 2.7, the clouds, and updates. If you have any questions about VR or the HP Reverb G2, drop a message below. Cheers!